Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, also known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have recently been subject to criticism and ridicule for what some perceive as a tendency to play the victim. The couple's high-profile interviews and public statements have garnered both support and backlash, with some questioning the authenticity of their claims. Critics from various sources, including media commentators, the public, and even fellow celebrities, argue that Prince Harry and Meghan have positioned themselves as victims while enjoying a life of luxury and privilege. One recurring criticism, is that their interviews and statements often revolve around their struggles within the British royal family, and the impact of media intrusion on their lives. While they have been open about their experiences, some believe that their narratives overshadow the many privileges they still enjoy, such as lucrative deals with streaming platforms, book contracts, and lavish properties. Some have used the phrase crying in a castle to illustrate this sentiment, suggesting that the couple's complaints may seem incongruous with their opulent lifestyle. Their decision to reside in a multi-million dollar mansion in Montecito, California, has drawn comparisons to the challenges faced by ordinary individuals. British TV presenter Piers Morgan recently commented on this perceived victimhood narrative, saying, it's become completely absurd. We have a couple of literally almost billionaire people in their mansion in Montecito in California, doing no work, crying their eyes out. Playing the victim. Critics argue that while Prince Harry and Meghan have undoubtedly faced challenges, they have also enjoyed immense privileges and opportunities that many can only dream of. Some see their ability to command large speaking fees and secure lucrative business deals as inconsistent with their claims of victimhood. Furthermore, their choice to share their stories in high-profile interviews with media figures like Oprah Winfrey and James Corden has raised questions about their sincerity. Critics argue that these interviews have become platforms for the couple to air their grievances and promote their projects, casting doubt on their true motivations. Supporters of Prince Harry and Meghan, however, view their openness about their struggles as a courageous effort to raise awareness about important issues such as mental health and racial discrimination. They emphasize that the couple has faced significant challenges and media intrusion, which have had a profound impact on their lives. The couple's advocacy for these causes has received widespread praise, and they have been acknowledged for their efforts to promote positive change through their philanthropic work and the establishment of their non-profit organization, Archual. Nevertheless, the ongoing debate surrounding victimhood versus privilege highlights the complexities of their public image. As Prince Harry and Meghan navigate their lives outside of the royal family, they face the challenge of striking a balance between sharing their stories and maintaining a relatable connection with the public. The perceptions of victimhood versus privilege are likely to persist as their journey unfolds, serving as a reminder of the challenges and contradictions inherent in living life in the public eye. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Updates YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when we drop a video, stay safe.